guys, this is AVXO back with another YouTube video reaction. Today we're gonna be reacting to the League of Legends season 2024 cinematic where Trindamir Trindamir will be in that we know of due to the sneak preview that we got earlier last week. Very excited to watch it. I feel like this is gonna give me the buff that I need to rank up this season. And I swear I am gonna rank up. I'm not lying to you. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. Excited. Tomorrow is a hope. Never a promise. <sighs> Why am I shaking right now? <laughs> okay, we got a daddy chin to me here. Love is I call her. Oh my god, I feel like I'm watching a movie. Scream you got me. Kindred? She's so pretty. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god, this looks so good! Not that that's a bad thing. I'm still here. Ah! <gasps> okay. Oh, whoa, what was that look? Oh, my God. Absolutely beautiful. I 
felt like I was watching a movie. League of Legends, when are you gonna come out with a movie? Like, I feel like you guys are at that point. <laughs> Might as well make a movie, broski. There was so much in the pack. We did see Trinomere in the beginning scene. He's like in the middle of a forest, which is great. We love that. He's down to his luck. The story that I was not expecting to see was Kale and Morgana. I totally forgot that Morgana was her sister of Kale. And like, I didn't know that, okay? So don't come at me in the comments. But I didn't know that Morgana was Kale's sister. So I was not, I was, it just didn't register in my head. And I'm not used to, I'm not used to seeing Morgana before she was Morgana. So maybe that's why it took a while for me to recognize who she was. But oh my god, that scream. Bro, I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. <laughs> that scream. Part when she screamed to save her sister. I don't know if that was like her redemption arc or if... I don't know. But maybe because... I don't know what the age difference is or anything like that. But maybe because I have a sister. Her using her powers, even if I think the story is that her powers are dark side, even if that means her going and submitting herself to the dark side to save the one she loves, that really hit home. And she was screaming, and that really hit home. But that's because I'm a sister, and I would do anything for my sister. So that really hit home. I love the fighting scene between Aatrox and Kale. I don't know the story backstory of that. So if you guys have any videos, or maybe there's like a champion cinematic of Kale or Aatrox that I should watch, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to get into the lore of that. And it was really good. Kale, oh my god. I didn't realize, but Aatrox looks scary demonic. It was really crazy. So I really appreciate that. Kale, not gonna lie, in this scene when she's on the ground, she's looking up, she kind of looks like a little bit like Cinderella. I think that's her name, the streamer. Cause she's so hot and just that little part just that's the first thought that came into mind so honestly cast her as kale in a movie if you're gonna come out with a movie like Le league of legends yeah so well which probably comes which probably connects with the title of the cinematic still here is yasuo old though like what happened and does that mean ari's old and like it seems like he has retired and then he can't help himself to stand up for the people that he wants to stand up, especially the ones in Helpless. And I love that. That honestly got me a little bit of a redemption arc to believe in Yasuo means. And Yasuo in general, even though he sometimes annoys the hell out of me in lane. But that really gave me a soft part in my heart for Yasuo. Um, I just can't get over the fact that he's old. And if I got the wrong champion, don't, don't crucify me, okay? Um, other than that, I think the next part, he ends up showing that, oh, you messed up. You know what it was giving me? It was kind of giving me John Wick vibes. You know how John Wick is like, I'm retired, don't come at me. And then they fuck, they mess with him. And he's like, oh, now you fucked up. That's, that's what this scene reminds me of, but more in a heroic sense that he had no choice to use his powers. Um, so that fighting scene was so good. Then the last scene with Trinomir and Kindred. I didn't know there was like a battle between them or like a enemy. Like, I didn't know there was there were arch enemies or even if they are, I didn't know there was like conflict between both of them. So that was very shocking. Kale looks so pretty. I loved her. I love everything about this scene. It was so HD quality, broski. Um, and I didn't expect Ash showing up there. And did you guys see his reactions? Wait, he was like, oh, the love of my life, you're back? I don't know the story between them. I do know there's kind of like a relationship happening between them. So that's why I picked it up a little bit. And she's like, yeah. And she's so pretty. Oh my god, maybe I'll start playing Ash. And she's looking at him. It's like, I got you, baby. And it ends with them just saying, I'm still here. So yeah, that was really amazing. I know if there's anything I'm missing from the cinematic. That was just my first run through of what I've seen. And honestly, I loved it. It had the hype. Not like the epic hype and like boomness. Like in the music, the song was really good. 
it really the song i felt like it did have the energy and the hype and not to like the extreme as the other cinematics that i've watched but it had an element more towards to the storyline and feeding into the whatever league of legends trying to give lore wise or story wise and it gave that still hype so i really think i like this but i'm also new to league of legends and their lore and cinematics so let me know down in the comments what you guys think and let me know if i'm missing anything Alrighty guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video and keep reaching for the stars, okay? Bye-bye!